Hello everybody and welcome to this video where I am going to answer a question. I'll, I'll actually read the question. I just can't stand it when the name of the character is hard to pronounce or too closely similar to other characters' names in the book. But this time I fucked the whole book off based on based purely on the girl's ridiculous name, Flannery. She's supposed to be a Westerner, probably Australian in hindsight, and I couldn't think of where. West of fucking Narnia or something? Should names be researched to more and to be more relevant to genders, cultures, or geographical locations? I would find it hard to read about a guy called Kelly, as in the UK, that's a girl's name. Same with Nicola, French male, UK female. Regardless of that, Flannery. Doesn't sound like it's from this world, let alone this decade or era. I take it all back if it's a common name in that country, but in that case, would it not be best to neutralize the name's choice. So I butchered that email, so I apologize for that. But this is a good question, and this is one that has actually come up um, more times than this. What, and this might be, I'm, I'm gonna go a few different routes here, and this might be one of the reasons why I'm not a big epic fantasy guy. The thing that drives me crazy about epic fantasy is that the word for everything on the fucking planet is the same word we would use. But when it comes to the names uh, of these characters or the places, they're like fucking ridiculous and bizarre. Okay? And some of you go, well, that's just the translation of the book from Elvish. <laughs> or whatever. I don't care. Like, whatever. It's fucking confusing. It's hard to read. I didn't even know I had a problem with this until I started doing video reviews of books. And the reason why I noticed it was a thing, when I'm reading a book and I come across a name I can't pronounce, I just don't pronounce it. But like I recognize the letters and I go, oh, that's that dude or that chick. And I never actually say the word out loud. It's just, it's like too much for me. I'm just like, I don't have fucking time for this. And then I started a booktube channel and I'm trying to fucking do reviews of books. And I'm like, and, uh, uh, uh. Flergenjlobren said, and I'm like, oh my god, I do not even fucking read the names of these ridiculous characters because they're too fucking hard. So that's one side of the coin. I don't know why that's how it is for me, but it's fucking annoying. I don't like it. Now, when it comes to your, like, just a normal story or, like, just an average book, I have noticed a lot of books where, like, you're reading the book but the character's name is so fucking ridiculous that you're like, is the author like playing tricks on me right now? Like, what the fuck is this? Like, I think Flannery is an Irish name, if I'm not mistaken. So if that helps with that book, I don't fucking know. That would probably drive me crazy seeing that. But if you remember when I did that podcast episode with um, Roy Gilsdorf. He, it took him like 20 years to write his book and his character's name, I'm probably going to fuck this up. I think his character's name was Miles when he started writing the book. And over the years, he saw that name so much in other books that he changed the name because it was driving him crazy that everyone kept using the same name. There's probably a couple different ways you could do this. If you have any kind of platform, like whether it be Twitter, YouTube, whatever, you could probably, even on Instagram, just do different pictures. You could probably do a poll with the readers you have or the friends you have and say, like, out of these three names, which one do you like the most? Which one of these is the most fun to read? Now, is this going to be like bulletproof no because if all your friends are weird like you and they pick a name like fucking um 
I don't know, Shenandoah or something like that, then like this does not help you at all. But I would just say, think about your character names and think if there's any way you can make the character names easier. You don't want them to be super boring. Like you don't want to name, oh, here's Bill. But you know what? At the same time, that might be fucking good for your story to have a boring character with a boring fucking name. You know what I'm saying? The other thing, and I learned this from writing scripts because um, when I was writing scripts, I was using a software. I was using Final Draft for a long time. And then I moved to um, Celtics, I think is what it was called. And anyway, so once you have a character name in the script, it'll remember it. So all you have to do is hit the first letter of the name and the name will pop up. But when you start having characters that have names that start with the same letter, like you'll have to like hit the button and then scroll through the choices. And if you're going to do that, you might as well just type the fucking name. So once I started noticing that, I'm like, okay, no character's name is going to start with the same letter. And that was something that kind of um, went into all my other work. And when I started writing books, I really really tried hard sometimes it would just happen and I'm like ah fuck I fucked that up but I would try really hard to never have a character have the same letter in their name so like if there was a Bob there would be no Billy there would be no Bobby there would be no Bobert or um, Bartholomew J or anything like that you know so that that's just something I did so yes um, it is annoying when you have a character with a weird name, especially if you have to talk about it to somebody. So just think about that. Like when you're like, and even if you finished your book, like think about it, go through and go, is this name too weird? Because sometimes it's weird enough to work, especially if a weird name fits the character. But if the character is the most boring fucking like, reluctant hero in the history of the world and you give them a name like action jackson jackson that's it it doesn't work it's not right so just think about that so keep buying my books everybody go get poetic anarchy volume two because it's right here on top macarthur park december's chat book go pick that up type hard everybody and I will talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.